I'll teach you the pullback strategy that is unbelievable accurate in this video. Let's get started. Here are a few simple steps to the correct way to spot the pullback. Number one, you need to study exactly how the swing was moving before it started pulling back and then compare it with the actual pullback. Think about it. The reason for doing this is because after spending tons of hours studying different types of pullbacks and what makes them succeed or fail, I found that markets pull back because of expensive price, which causes a lack of momentum from the participants of the market. Then number two, when you compare the swing and the pullback, you want to see the pullback struggling a lot compared to the swing. Do you know why is that? This is because pullback happens when the price momentum drops, which leads to the price getting cheaper, which becomes a very attractive price discount for buyer or seller participants, which usually leads to the market trend to resume again when the price discount is convincing enough. Please take a moment to let that sink in a bit. Then number three, if you spot your pullback on one hour time frame for example, then go to a lower time frame i.e. 15 minutes. The reason for going down to a lower time frame is so that you can see the smaller trend that is building up within the pullback. Then number four, on that smaller trend that is building up within the pullback, observe its momentum by checking how strong it pushes. What you want to focus on is when the pullback gets to the neck or 100% pullback. Then when that happens, it signals that the trend wants to resume again, which means that you should start your preparations for placing a trade. Then number five, observe if that smaller swing tries to continue again from the neck. So this try should be very weak, ideally should be made up of shorter set of candles that are not showing any significant momentum. Then when that is confirmed, check your other confluences and enter the trade. Please like and subscribe.